Hi, my name is Colette and I am the founder of Laser Classroom and I am very excited to share with you the Light Blocks Kit. It's a hands-on kit for kids ages 8 and up uh, for teaching and learning about light and optics. And now in Activity 2, we're going to take out the light blocks and see how they work. And we're also going to introduce the concept that light is something that travels. Mostly kids experience light as something that's either there or not there. And these two activities are going to give you a give kids a feel for the fact that light travels. So the next activity is called Follow the Beam, and it's going to introduce how the lights work, and it's also going to introduce students to the idea that light travels, and it travels in a specific way. It travels in straight lines. So the way we're going to do that, and this is all on your activity sheet in your book, is we're going to start with a couple of either pieces of paper. I've used pieces of paper here, but you can also use index cards, and you're going to poke holes in those index cards or that piece of paper so that they're all lined up right in the same place. And then you're going to stand them up, and then you're going to line up your two pieces of paper with the holes aligned. And you're going to take the slit cap off of one light blocks and hold the light blocks up against the first piece of paper so that it shines through the first hole, through the second hole, and lands on a solid piece of paper behind it. And what you can see here is that the light has actually traveled from the light source through the holes to the piece of paper. And what this is intended to demonstrate is that light travels in a straight line. And that's going to set us up for some of the lessons that we're going to do after this. Um, you can also introduce the fact that uh, light travels until it hits something else by inserting a solid piece of paper in between. And then you can see that the light does not travel uh, through that solid piece of paper um, to the other other paper on the back. So that's our introduction to how light travels. So now that we've seen that light travels in a straight line, we're going to use the light blocks to see one more property of how light travels, and that is that it spreads out when it gets further away from a surface, and it condenses and intensifies as it gets closer to a surface. So let's see what that means visually. So you're going to turn on your light blocks, and hold it very close to either the table or a wall and you'll see that the light becomes smaller and also brighter as it gets closer to the surface. And as you lift the light blocks either up or away from your wall, you can see that that patch of light gets bigger and it also gets dimmer. And what's happening is as the light has to travel further, it is spreading out and as it has to, you know, the same amount of light has to cover the, uh, a larger and larger area, it's getting dimmer and dimmer. And then you come closer again and that's just to get a feel for the fact that light travels and that as it travels it generally tends to spread out. Now we're going to take a look at light and color and we're going to introduce the idea that the white light that students are used to seeing or what they might call clear light is actually light that's composed of many colors, many different wavelengths of light. So what you're going to need for this activity is your diffraction grating that came in your kit and all three of your light blocks with the slit caps off. We're going to start by introducing the diffraction grating. I'm going to hold the diffraction grating up to your eye, just a couple inches from your eye, tilt your head back and look up at the lights that are in the room. And if you look just to the side, you'll see a rainbow here and here. And if you can provide a number of different lights to look at and ask kids to uh, compare the rainbow that they see from one light to another. And there'll be a new rainbow for every light source and it'll change shape but you'll always see a rainbow when you look through this. And what that's doing is it's a diffraction grating, which is lots of little tiny lines, and it's dividing the light into its constituent wavelengths. So now that you've used your diffraction grating to observe the colors of light inside of white light, now we're going to use the light blocks to uh, create white light out of red, green, and blue light. At this point, it's uh, going to help if you turn the lights down or off if you can and have a flat surface, uh, preferably white, so you can see the new colors that you can make with your light blocks. So this is an exercise in exploration. Give the kids all three lights and have them play with them and see how many different colors they can create. 
in the end, what you want them to uh, discover, or what they will discover if they spend some time with the lights, is that they get some colors when they combine two different light blocks. And then when they put all three of them together, they can make white light. And so let's take a look at what colors the different combinations of lights make. Green and red combine to make yellow. And red and blue combine to make magenta. And now if we add green, green and blue combine to make cyan. And if you put them all together, where all three colors come together, you'll see that they do in fact make white light. So the next lesson we're going to talk about is called Let the Light Shine. And here we're going to introduce what happens when light meets different materials. For this lesson, you're going to want to have uh, one of your light blocks. I am going to use the red one. I'm going to use the red one. And then a couple of other things that you have both in your kit, and you can also introduce a couple things that you have around the house. I'm just going to use things that I took out of the kit. I'm going to use the mirror a piece of white paper, one of the plastic baggies that held some of the elements of the kit, and a piece of the tissue paper that one of your lenses was wrapped in. Let's take a look and see what happens when the light hits each of these objects. And what we're looking to do here is introduce a couple of terms. Uh, one of them is um, what happens when you use the baggie and you hold the light close up to the baggie and look behind it, the light is transmitted. And it's transmitted because that material is transparent. And if you pull the light back, you might see that some of that light is reflected off of that baggie as well. So you've got a couple things going on there with the baggie. Or you can also use a piece of, um, a piece of uh, transparency paper. Now let's go to the piece of tissue paper. And if you hold your light up to the tissue paper and look behind it, you can see that some of the light passes through, but not all of it. And that would be a material that we would call translucent. And so it is partially transmitting. And even though it's not shiny, because you can see the red on the, uh, the piece of the paper that is facing you, that's actually light that's being reflected back. And we'll do more with that later but you can see both reflection and transmission here. And that's a translucent piece of tissue paper. Now I'm going to introduce the piece of white paper and hold my light up to it and look behind it and I can see that it is actually blocking the light. I can't see any light going through that paper and I can see all of it bouncing off the paper and reflecting back into my eye. So again, it's not shiny, but it's reflecting. And those terms you can introduce, uh, you can introduce the term absorption or blocking the light here. Then I'm going to take a look at my mirror. And now so much light is being reflected off the mirror that it's bouncing back not only to my eye, but I can see it on the table. And I can see that if I twist the mirror, the light actually moves as I move the mirror. And we'll do more with that later, but for now, just observe that it's reflecting. And none of the light is passing through. So we have reflection and blocking or absorption.